start this morning, I want to remind us this is a <coughs> celebration of life. Amen. 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 And Sylvia, I've uh, I figured out why I'm doing this today. Uh, I've heard <coughs> numerous people talk about Moses' honor. And uh, how, uh, I guess, stubborn, or whatever you might say about him. I didn't see any of that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he set y'all up. <laughs> he orchestrated this day because all I knew was the good stuff. Amen. Stop by being an encouragement to us. And I know that uh, we have a kindred spirit because I like good cooking and I don't like leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And I don't believe that when uh, plumbers retire, they should do plumbing. <laughs> and I don't believe that carpenters, when they retire, should do carpentry. In fact, what I found is if you go to a plumber's house, you usually find that they need to do some plumbing. <laughs> if you go to a carpenter's house, they need some carpentry work. And so we certainly do uh, uh, appreciate this opportunity to share with you as we pray for the family and uh, hopefully love on you uh, this day. To the angel of this house, Pastor Bill Moore White, his absence Praise God for him. Amen. Amen. One of the things I found out as I have aged is that we start attending too many of these. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But um, it just says another thing, too, that the Lord has been gracious mm -hmm. uh, to us. Amen. I believe the Bible says 3 score 10, that's 70 years of our correct. Amen. Amen. And Moses lived to fulfill those promises, amen, and we praise God for that, amen. Uh, I don't plan on being before you long. Actually, part of my work has already been done because the invitation was given twice, right. amen. amen. And I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. And if you are already messed up because I didn't go up to that, <laughs> And y'all just messed up. <laughs> but I'm not going up there. Well, I believe I can do from what I need to do from right here. Amen. I don't believe it's where you stand in the church. I believe right. that you come as the church. Amen. So we just don't do what we have to do. Amen. Amen. Because Moses is celebrating. Yes, Amen. 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 He's still in the celebration phase. We're just getting, we got to get used to, amen, what's going on with <laughs> us. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm going to talk to us from uh, a scripture found in Philippians, the first chapter, uh, the 21st verse. And I was, this pose this question to you today, especially those of you that listen to the invitation. What does a Christian gain when they die? Amen. Just think about that for a moment. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we certainly thank you. Uh, for being a good and gracious God. Yes, we thank you for just being with us today in our time of uh, grieving, Lord Jesus. That's the recorded for us word that said, weeping may endure for the night, joy comes in the morning. Yes, and I'm certainly glad today, God, that our joy is not predicated on our circumstances. Yes but it's knowing who has our circumstances in control. So we thank you and we ask that you would word these lips of clay, send your word like a mighty hammer that break yokes asunder, and let us be better men and women for this experience today as we seek to serve you in truth. So we thank you and we bless you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 When we speak of funerals, we don't think of gaining uh, anything, usually. Amen? Amen? The word gain is usually not even our 
uh, funeral vocabulary. Most of the time, we speak of our loss, amen, and that's what we concentrate on. People tell us how sorry they are for our loss. In fact, when a person dies, we say that they lost their life. But I'm here today to tell you that Moses' life was not lost. Amen. Well, given. Amen. Amen. And we know where Moses is resting today. We heard the testimony of salvation. Amen. Amen. We have a flood of emotions on these days. Um, sadness, grief, sometimes anger, and often, too often, regret because there are things that we wish we would have said, yes. amen, and we didn't say. So I would encourage you, uh, with your loved ones especially, let them know how you feel. Don't wait till today, yes. amen. Uh, we have those emotions because in that sense we have lost something. And for us to hear that, that new uh, brother Moses Hardy, uh, I just want to ask for a moment, where did Tootie come from? <laughs> Who did that to Moses? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't share that with me. I never knew that. And it's probably a good thing he didn't share that with me. Amen. Because so every time I was saw him, I said, oh, Amen. I've got a favorite name too, but I'm not going to tell none of you. None of you. Today. Amen. And I hope they don't tell it in my home. <laughs> Amen. And it hurts when we, we miss folks. Amen. And that's, that's normal. And people will try to keep us from shedding tears. But I'm going to tell you something. It's good to shed tears. Amen. And there's another thing that we find out that, that our tears are so precious. It tells us in the scripture that, that they are collected by our Lord, kept in a vial. Amen. We won't be able to sit and visit with him again in this life. And that hurts. Amen. There's pain when we lose loved ones. Amen. Amen. The last few years we've lost a son. Amen. Amen. And I still have to take my time and, and deal with that. Amen. Amen. But you know there's one verse in the Bible that uses the word gain when we speak of death. It says for Philippians 1 and 21, for me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. Yes. To die is gain. That sounds kind of strange in reality. Death is gain. That's not the way most of us see it. So after reading that scripture, I looked up the word gain in the dictionary just to clarify the meaning. You know what I found, Sylvia? Gain means something is acquired. All right. Something is taken possession of. Gain means to increase, to get an advantage. And that's not the way most people would see death. In fact, it's quite different than the way we normally look at death, isn't it? We do talk about gaining a little, though, don't we? I'm sure over these days, in fact, I believe I heard it said today, someone has said that Brother Hardy is in a better place. That is a statement of gain, beloved. Amen. I qualify that, that statement by simply saying if a person has a right relationship with Jesus, mm -hmm. yes, which by Moses' personal testimony and, and attributed to here today, we know that he had, yes. when they die, they gain several blessings. Mm -hmm. You see, Paul is writing as a Christian when he says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Jesus has promised a multitude of blessings to those who believe in him when they die. Amen. No, it's not money or fame or fortune, but blessings unimaginable. Mm -hmm. So, as I wrap up this morning, let me tell you of at least four blessings that Christians gain Amen. when they die. Blessing number one. According to the scripture, we gain an incredible life. Right. What? We die to gain an incredible life. Mm -hmm. In this present body, 
we are subject to the joys and disappointments of life. Brother Tom, we've known each other for a long, long time. In fact, I think I still had some hair. <laughs> some hair. And it was black. I had a fro. I had a hole in the middle of it, but I had a fro. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> when I got out of bed in the morning, sir, I just jumped out of the bed and went and did my task. Yes, now, yeah. <laughs> some, some of y'all trying to help me preach. <laughs> now, I, I look at the right foot and I say, please. <laughs> Would you get on the floor? <laughs> you know, we don't want to do that then. It's, it's, why? <laughs> oh, I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen. In this present body, <laughs> we are subject to some disappointments. And this year, there have been so many people who have struggled with illness of some sort or another. And Brother Hardy was one of those. I Remember when I first heard of his illness, I thought, oh, no, not another one, Lord. And listen, before I could make contact, before I realized what was going on, we got the call. We all have disappointments. And all of us, if we keep living, face the aging process. Sometimes we're healthy, and sometimes we're sick. I remember when he used to stop by when we were building the church, and he would sit <coughs> and talk and offer his advice. Sometimes he would lend a hand. Amen. <laughs> Brother Bobby West. Amen. I think, I think he was the supervisor. <laughs> And Bobby was the, the, the laborer. <laughs> Amen. But we would laugh and, and talk. It was always good to have him have him around. Um, every time I look at certain portions of the building, builders always see what's there before you see the sheetrock and the paint. Amen. Amen. We see all of the imperfections. Amen. You don't see them. We see them. We see them. And the Lord once told me, because I was so adamant about fixing some of the imperfections, he said, leave them there. And I said, why, Lord? This is your house. He said, leave them there because we are imperfect people. We, we have, we're imperfect people. And we need reminders sometimes to help us understand that we're imperfect. We all need Jesus. We all need Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 I thank the Lord for those memories. I will always have them. And even though we're going through this at this time, we need to understand God is yet good. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we feel pleasure. Sometimes we feel pain. But God is still good. Yes, sir. When that foot won't do what I asked it to do, God mm -hmm. is still good. Amen. Amen. When I, 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 got, I had my eyes dilated yet and you probably under 20 or 30, you probably haven't experienced that yet. <laughs> There's some things I won't talk about in the presence of mixed company. <laughs> <laughs> that we go through when we age. Amen. Amen. I once told the doc I didn't know that you could check tonsils that way. <laughs> Let me make some hard memories for me. Can y'all pray for me today? <laughs> 
God is still good. Yes, he is. Sometimes we're happy and sometimes there's sorrow, but with a certainty I can say to us, when we get to heaven, it will not be that way. That's right. Revelation 21 and 4 states, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, no crying. There shall be no more pain. For the former things have passed away. There shall be no more pain. For the former things have passed away. Beloved, we will no longer experience life as we once knew it. We will be different. And to that I say thank you, Lord. Blessing number two, we gain an eternal life. Yes. All of us live in a world where family relationships change. Mother is gone, or father is gone, uncles and aunts, grandparents. They all grow older and die, sisters, brothers, daughters, and sons. But that does not happen in heaven. Mm -hmm. There is no aging process. There is no death. We will live forever. Most of us know John 3.16, but beloved, how often do we really trust in the last phrase of that verse? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him Amen. should not perish, All right. but have everlasting life. Can I hear somebody say amen to life? Amen. And life? amen. Blessing number three, we gain a glorious home. Mm -hmm. Amen. I talked about aging. Some of us just do everything we can do to keep from aging. That's a billion dollar industry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I better not go down that trail. I <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I am my wife. Amen. 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 Help me go with <laughs> but listen to me. How many of us would set a tent up in our backyard and build a deck on it? A tent is a temporary habitation. That's right. We live in a tent, mm -hmm. beloved. Amen. This is just a temporary yes. habitation. Yes, sir. Amen. We need to work on our eternal home. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 No matter how beautiful and elaborate your home may be in this world, it's nothing compared to the home God has prepared for us. Amen. Scripture says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house yes. are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. Yes, sir. That where I am, Amen. There you may be also. Amen. John 14. Brother Hardy left his temporary home yes. just a few days ago Amen. and moved into his mansion. Amen. Finally, blessing number four. We gain perfection. Amen. How can I say this? Amen. The Bible teaches that we become like Christ when we go to heaven with him and see him face to face. What is Christ like? From everything I've read, Pastor Steele, experienced, beloved, Christ is perfect. Beloved, I think First John 3, 2 says, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him. As he is. Yes, sir. We shall see him. We shall see him. In all of his perfection. Yes, sir. We shall see him. Yes. In his glory. Amen. We shall become like him. Mm -hmm. We've come today because we all that knew him, family and friends, have suffered a loss. And we will miss Brother Moses Hardy. We'll miss his presence. We'll miss his fellowship. We'll miss his friendship. We'll miss his love. 
his encouragement, and it, I think we can agree, it is painful. But we also must realize what Moses gave. Amen. Oh, death. Where is thy sting? Oh, death, where is the victory? For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Yes, sir. Sleep on, my friend. Mm -hmm. Sleep on. Yes. Brother Moses Hardy. Mm -hmm. Take your rest. Yes. You deserve it. You will be missed. Mm -hmm. But I can guarantee you from this room, you will not be forgotten. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's pray. Amen. Father. Amen. Amen. 